Hello. Welcome back to Markets of Sunshine. This is Marcia. We are on week eight of our altered paper clips challenge. And so whether it's morning, afternoon, or evening when you're watching this video, I wanted to say welcome to my channel and to everyone out there who is t participating. I hope you're having a good time with this and enjoying it. And please post your completed projects in the Facebook group, Junk Journal Junction. So, and if you are a customer <clears throat> and you are um, going to take advantage of my sale that I'm going having right now in my Etsy shop is the next five orders will receive a vintage lace sample from my Etsy shop pioneer fundraiser that I select and will include with your order. And when I reach 850 sales in the Etsy shop, that person who purchased that order is going to receive the whole little bundle that I showed you in a couple of videos back. So I will link that video at the end of this video. So let's get started and see what we have in store today for our number eight altered paper clip. And it's also known as clip art, I have found out. <laughs> So here is the supply list for our paper clip art today. You will need one paper clip, and I'm going to be making two, one for myself and one for a gift or swap or put it in with an order, something like that. You will need a piece of cardstock, something stapled, so I have the stapler ready to go to staple something. You will need a washi tape. So I've chosen these two colors. You will need a butterfly image. It can be fabric, it can be a sticker, it can be whatever. Wherever you find a butterfly image. And you will need a number. So that's it. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six items for this project today. And now our bonus is a image using a rubber stamp. So I chose the mason jar. So my whole idea with this is to put the butterfly in the mason jar. So the butterfly, this one that I fussy cut already this morning and I was going to use him, is too big. So I'm going to go back through my stash and I'm pretty sure I've got stickers that have a butterfly on it. So I will find one that is small enough to go into the mason jar. Okay, so that's the whole plan of action this morning. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut out the two mason jars, and the paper clip is going to go on the back of the jar, so when you turn it over, you will see the paper clip. Now you could do it um, the other style where you don't see the paper clip, but um, I don't know, it's like, this is a little bit, I think, easier for me to just, you know, so I'm just gonna fussy cut really quickly. I'm not gonna be, um, so if you are new to fussy cutting or have a hard time with fussy cutting, just to show you, and you see the scissors that I'm using, so you don't have to use, you know, tiny, tiny scissors. So whatever's comfortable for you, just, go with that. You want to have a sharp pair. Now that's the important part. And um, you want to make sure you have scissors that are reserved just for paper crafting and cutting and, you know, for anything that's not fabric. And you want to have um, a set that is just for fabric because when you cut other things, with your scissors, it dulls them. But if you only reserve it for fabric, and those, you will not need to sharpen it, if ever, once maybe. But I have two Fiskar pairs, and one I've had for, I know, at least, I'm, I'm thinking like 25 years, and, um, 
I've never had to have them sharpened, and they are really, really excellent scissors for cutting. And my rotary cutter as well for fabric. I only use it for fabric, and I've had that for as long length of time, same length of time, and I've never had to sharpen those at either. So this is just, uh, I think, I don't even know, where did I get this? Westcott is the brand, and I'm thinking, um, I may have gotten these at Joann's or Michael's. Definitely not your dollar store type. And then this is the Fiskars that I used. And now this one, I use it on fabric and paper, and I need to clean the blades with some alcohol to get the glue off. And then my other pair is an older pair, the same brand, but the handle is shaped differently and it's gray. And your opener is here, which I like much better. I don't know why they put it here. This is terrible, but this one was really good. So it's, it was a little bit to get used to, but you know, I, I got used to it. All right, so now our paper clips are the last thing that are gonna be put on. So we're gonna leave them over here and the cardstock, I will cut a piece of that off and we'll get to that. Okay, so now let's figure out, okay, here's the mason jars. And like I said, we wanna put the butterfly inside the mason jar and a number. So I'm thinking since the mason jar is, you know, this is the size that I'm using, aren't they cute? And did you know, I just found out that there is a mason jar punch. It's so cute. So I'm going to have to look that one up because this, this is a beautiful, perfect size. And um, I'm sure there's a, you know, you could Google in a for royalty free images of mason jars. You may find bigger ones and smaller ones, but the punch is definitely a must have. So I'm going to look at that and I've never seen it in the store. So I'm assuming I will probably have to go onto Amazon and um, purchase it from there. So now, I don't know which number, I've been looking at these numbers for a while this morning going, which number do I want? <clears throat> so let's see here. I was born in March on the 7th, and even though I don't celebrate birthdays, but still, it's just like, I mean, I don't know, it's like something, you know, something that you can connect with, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a person of like, you know, I like, I like to have connections between things for things, you know, like maybe your baptism date or the day you were married, you know, the month or something. I don't know. Just something that's special to you. Let's see if he fits in the mason jar. Yes, he does. Okay, good. I like that. All right. So that one is going to go there. And let's see. We had one that was smaller. Just the five and the seven. So let me get the seven off. It's a little bit smaller. And let me see how it looks. Okay, so this is a Tim Holtz paper pad, and it had a lot of nice things and numbers and license plates and bottle cap images. It was really a nice pack. I'll have to get that out and show you the who that what the paper pack name was. Okay, so now I may change the washi, but I I don't know yet. So we'll see. We're still this is still a work in progress here and where we're going to put the washi, how we're going to put the washi, and then the butterfly. And I'm going to have to come in here and, and ink up all of this in here and pretty it up somehow. So something stapled. Now I might come in here also with something stapled um, to like flowers maybe. I'm thinking maybe some flowers and then the butterfly sitting on the flowers and then a piece of washi, you know, somewhere in here. Still, still gonna play around with it a little bit, but we'll get it. We'll get it together. All right, let's let's do that. All right, so I have my something stapled now. 
I stapled the numbers to the butterflies and I'm still inking this and inking that. This one still has to be inked. And then what I did for the back to cover up the washi tape that went over around the corner is I just took a piece of scrapbook paper and put it on the back. And then now I'm going to use, what are these things called? <clears throat> foam tape, <laughs> foam dots. And going to use that to raise the butterfly up off of here. This one, I'm just going to glue it in place. So all that will be glued. But what I want to do first is take it to the sewing machine and I want to just stitch around this washi just to make sure it's going to stay in place because if you are familiar with washi at all, you know it's not reliable. Okay. Put paper clip on there. Paper clip on there. Okay. And as we can see, it fits fine. So now what I was thinking to make it look prettier instead of just this ugly white on the back was to actually um, either put a nice pretty piece of the cardstock paper here, maybe I'll use the same one and that way that'll make it look nice instead of just that white because that white is ugly. It's too plain. So we're going to use good old scotch glue stick for this. Get these out of the way. This is non toxic, and there is no offensive odor at all. And I have chemical sensitivity disorder, so I know who odors. Something is not good for you. My little body sends off the red alert warning. So I'm just going to put that down there like that. And then we will turn it over. And we will trim off the paper. The excess. I'm glad I had a couple of sheets of just scrapbook paper because I always buy card stock. And, um, but I had uh, scrapbook paper left from years ago. I mean, that paper is really old. I know at least 20 years. And I was getting a um, kit from Paper Wishes every month. And so I believe that's probably where it came from. Okay. Now this will look much better. And it doesn't matter what side you can have the long side or the short side. It doesn't matter. There is no right or wrong with that. Okay, so then we're going to glue that. Yeah, see, that looks much, much, much better. So we're going to come down here like that. <clears throat> I could trim this up a little bit. It doesn't need to be that long. Let's just take this this little bit here off and then put him back on okay, uh, there we go much better I like the cute little shell there and we'll get that cute little shell there and then okay so we'll bring him over here and we'll trim a little bit more off of this side there, that looks better. And we definitely want to get the sand dollar, the whole piece. Alright, so then this will get glued after I stitch 
that. And then this one here as well. Okay, all right, now that looks much nicer. Doesn't that look nicer? Now it looks finished and complete. So before it was just definitely too ugly. Did not look good at all. Trim that, straighten that up a little bit. Okay, now we can set those over to the side. Let's ink around this one here. This was a book cover, the jacket of a book. And so it's glossy and as if I would have laminated it is what it feels like. And I like to lay it down when it's a delicate paper so you don't get all those wrinkles and you don't risk ripping it. Okay, that's good. Looks good to me. I'm not going to ink the backs of these. That's not not going to bother me at all. Let's toss that away. Okay, so now you can see how cute these turned out. So what I did with the washi is I took both patterns and I just alternated them down the sides of the jar. Wasn't that a good idea? Very cute. All right, so let me stitch it and then I'll be back and we'll put those on. All right, let's glue the back of the first one here. And we're going to put glue all around the edges of this. And hopefully this will glue with this fabric because it's like a canvas kind of a fabric. putting very light pressure so the glue doesn't ooze out all over the place like I usually wind up doing. So I'm learning to just give a little bit of pressure, just enough to hold it up. <clears throat> so while that is drying, then let's <clears throat> use the foam dots and we will put this one on here. All right, so where do we want it? That's the million dollar question. Um, okay, so I think how I'm gonna do it is let's just put the dots on here. Then we can re we can adjust them. Okay, this one can be moved down. Okay, right there. Okay. All right. That looks good. I never put foam dots on top of washi. It doesn't look like it really wants to stick. So I may have to come in here and put a little bit of the Aliens tacky glue underneath of it. <clears throat> There's a little thin paper backing. You peel that off the top if you've never used these before. And then, okay, I like it like that. I think that one looks really cute, don't you? And I left the strings here, the thread, so that it looks like, you know, it's been tied around the neck of the jar. Isn't that cute? I think so. All right, now flip it over, and let's put the paper clips on the back. All right, that one, yep, that's still good. And we're going to use the tacky glue for this. And you want to use a generous amount because you want that to stay put. Okay. 
have a clip. Let me see. Where's the clip? Uh, I usually either use my clothespins, but I have the clothespins on another assignment. So I will see if I can get this clip, even though I would need one for both sides. Let me see. It's been coming right there. just want to go over it for at least 20-30 seconds. Put pressure holding it down into place and allow that tacky glue to start setting up. I haven't opened my art glitter glue yet. I'm going to do that. One day, I've been asking different ladies if it has a strong odor or not, and they said it has a slight odor, but not anything bad, so I'm going to put my mask on before I use it. This Fabric Fusion definitely has an odor, but mine is so old that it doesn't have a really strong smell anymore. And But, I mean, it's years old, so... I said, I don't want to wait that long to use my art glitter glue. So I hope you've been enjoying this. If you have, then I invite you to subscribe to my channel and be a part of the community here. We are a community of creative crafting enthusiasts. And I'll be doing a giveaway when we reach 600 subscribers. So you can get in on that as being a subscriber on my channel with a public account. So if you have a private account, then I can't verify that you're a subscriber. want to make sure that this is not going to go anywhere. So take your time and really work that glue. That is looking really cute. I like both of them very much. Get that clamp off of there now. Alrighty, here we are. So this is our number eight altered paper clip or clip art as some are affectionately calling this which you know clip art is you know something completely different but they've just coined the phrase with these but they're actually altered paper clip art is what I would call them so that's for me the proper terminology that I would use because you know what clip art is if you know what ATC cards are you know what clip art is um, okay, so very cute. So there's a butterfly on each, a number on each, washi tape on each, something stapled on each, the card stock, and the paper clip on each. So this is completed. I love them both. So super cute and easy to do. I love the, the, using the stamp and the mason jar. Isn't that adorable? Isn't that something so cool? I love it. 
So I'm thinking that I will add these into my Etsy shop and what I'm going to do is stamp the mason jars and make those available for you to be able to purchase to make one of these. So if you would like me to do that, you don't have um, any mason jars, you would like me to offer this in my shop, just the stamped image onto the white cardstock, leave me a comment below and I will list those in my shop for you to purchase. Okay? All right, so thanks for being here with me today. Tomorrow's video is our Bohemian Dream Challenge that is being posted in our Facebook group, Junk Journal Junction. You can follow along in that challenge as well. So um, stay tuned for that. And Thursday is our calligraphy practicing and other um, journaling techniques and tips that I will share with you here as well. So thank you again. Keep creating in the sunshine and have a very creative day. Bye-bye. <laughs>